Prince and the Bear here, and we're back at home with another ranking video. I know that it's been a while, but we're trying to make life easier on you guys because you keep asking us in comments. What do we eat here? What do we eat here? Prince and the Bear on Reddit. What's the best place here? On TikTok, on Twitter, on threads. Yes, we're on threads now. Facebook. Facebook. Anywhere Instagram. you can find us. Instagram. Instagram. Even Pinterest. I mean, we don't post on Pinterest, but we, we we're, have. We're, we're there. It's been some time. It's been some time, but we're there. Wherever you can find us, we get the question, where should we eat X? So we're starting, restarting these videos to kind of help you with that. So we thought we'd do. The worst. The worst. So we're gonna give you the top 10 worst restaurants at Disney World. And the reasons why we don't think you should go to any of them. Yes, I can say that this list is all of a list of like, we don't like these places. Will we go? Yes. Do we enjoy ourselves when we go? No, no, we don't. We're gonna hit up bottom of the top, number one being the worst, 10 being the worst, but not as bad as number one. So first up, we're gonna hit you with number 10. Contempo Cafe. I really wanted to rate this one lower. I don't like this place. I actually wanted to rate it higher. Mm. I don't even know if it belongs on this list. I think it belongs on because this Because it's not terrible. And it's beloved by parts of our community. But it's not exceptional. It's just like <sighs> middle of the run. And if you want something, if you want unseasoned food, that is where you want to go. In my Contempo mind. Cafe. And I probably said this in a video or two. I compare Contempo Cafe to gas station food. I do think you compare that, it. That is the level of respect I have for the food that comes out of Contempo Cafe. The cast members are great. They're always super nice. Yeah, but it's never food, about the cast. It's always about the food. The food is consistently bad. We've had food that's been okay. But we've never loved a single thing we've ever gotten. From it's there. been mediocre, like middle of the run, like this is sustenance, I will eat this to get by type situation. Yeah. I mean, I get it. At uh, Contemporary, your options for quick grab and go food are limited. 100%. However, there is a monorail and ways to fix that. We do not suggest that you go to this place unless you are really that hungry. And if you're really that hungry- Or if you want a tofu bowl. And the pool is open, they also serve food. I would also recommend, yeah, Sandbar does serve food. I would also recommend um, Steakhouse 71 Lounge. Yes. We just recently posted a video about that. You'll find that in one of these corners. Uh, we actually do love their food quite well. You can just walk up if they have room. 100%, so yes. definitely if you if we had to choose between Steakhouse 71 Lounge and Contempo Cafe, that's a no brainer. It's always gonna be Steakhouse 71 Lounge. Vegans, plant-based people, I know you love this place. I'm sorry. But I cannot lie to the community. We do not like this place. Get, those, get those onion rings at Steakhouse 71. Yes. Said. Yes. Number nine. Now this place, we love breakfast. This one, this one is so decisive, divisive. We had to split up breakfast and dinner. We cannot stress enough how much we love breakfast. breakfast. But dinner? That's why we split it. Because this place is amazing for breakfast. It's one of our recommends for breakfast. But for dinner, dinner is so night and day. So, so terrible. So awful. So terrible. We had to split it up and give it its own spot on this list. We love you, Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, Eeyore. But number nine goes to Magic Kingdom's own Crystal, Crystal Palace. Palace. Dinner is a joke. It's so bad. Be it for vegans or non-vegans, it's just not great. And for some reason, when we, like the couple buffets, character dining buffets we've gone to and they want to make an off-menu vegan item, for some reason it always ends up being stir fry of stir -fry, some variety. Stir fry is easy, we make stir fry at home. It's not that hard to make stir fry. That's true. But if you have rice laying around, making stir fry is super easy. Especially when they have stir fry on the line, but yeah. Crystal Palace, the off-menu item for me was a stir fry. The vegan options were not that great. I, I really honestly can't say there was anything for dinner. The non-vegan options. That, I, that, that was worth anything. I would rather go to Casey's Corner than Crystal Palace. But breakfast? Like, 
peak Love. amazing. Like literally Love. one of the best places to get breakfast at it's Magic Kingdom. It's almost like you're eating at two different restaurants. For real. For real. Which that, is odd. That, what was it? Like the Karelian curry mm, thing? The, the block of toast. Oh uh, my it's amazing. God. So good. The, the churro Mickey waffle breakfast. So good. Top tier. Which is why it's such a surprise that dinner is so, so bad. absolutely terrible. So bad and so crazy. And this like, isn't chaotic like the yeah. the servers are blocked from the characters and like it's just so crowded well, breakfast isn't like compared that compared to breakfast yeah. just, oh my god and it's not even the first time madness because when we went right after it reopened when it was doing the family battle your food was burnt to a my food was burnt and almost inedible yeah. so i had a terrible even though the break the dinner there like everybody raved about it my experience was terrible yeah so. we tried so we've given this place chances and it's just... It's just let us down. Let us down completely. And, you know, it's Magic Kingdom. And you'd be surprised that this list is not filled with all Magic Kingdom places. Yeah. You know that more than anybody in the foodie Disney community, we don't call Magic Kingdom food... The most. Probably the most. Yeah. But there are a lot of other places that are worse than the food you can get in Magic Kingdom. I'm saying that out loud. And it hurts my soul a bit. But it's true. Obviously, Tipo <laughs> Cafe is on here, and we always tell people to go eat at the Magic Kingdom surrounding resort hotels we instead do. of Magic Kingdom. We really do. So, <laughs> so number for number nine, number eight. eight. This goes to Landscape of Flavors yes. at Disney's Art of Animation Which Resort. It's a shame because it is actually, for being simple, a very pretty restaurant. The artwork and everything else all it's around the restaurant really is a very nice place to chill and eat. There's a bar you're gonna need because the food is not, not so good. It's pretty bad, actually. And that's not to say that Value Resort food is bad because we love, actually, a lot of the Value Resort food. They do make some interesting dishes. My beloved plant-based tuna sandwich she never stops thinking about is it. from all the Value Resorts. I've gotten like some surprise seasonal dishes at some of the Value Resorts. So there's like some off-menu secret items like they have at uh, the uh, intermission. Mm, movies. Uh, all-star yeah, movies, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. They have like a film case where you can order like off menu. Yeah, great like, thing. Um, what is it? Cinnamon roll burger or like some sort of weird hot dog. Or there's like three things. But where the good there. starts, it ends at the food at Landscape of Flavors. Agreed. The, 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 the Landscape of Flavors is not vast. One time it's I got a, a seitan scramble from there and it was just straight oil. It Oof. was so bad. It was so bad. Hor horrifying. Horrifying. Number eight. Sorry, but you earned your smoke. Number seven. Hurts us a lot because honestly, I every time we go to this place, I expect it to be better. And it's not. Especially for the Polynesian Resort. Like everywhere that we go, we go to Tombu, we get amazing to go. Yep. We go to Trader Sam's, we get amazing to go. Yep. We go to Kona for breakfast, it's amazing. Yep. We go to Ohana for breakfast, it's amazing. Yep. But Captain Cook's? Ooh. Captain Cook's is good for breakfast. Captain Cook's Lunch food dinner? tastes like food that was made in the closet that it looks like. So bad. And so yeah, like, smelly there. It's interesting because like they have like these dishes that they come up with that are different than like most of what you can get at the other like quick service, even even like the Bay Lake resorts, but the value but quick service at any resort period, like the noodle bowls and everything else, but like the execution does not come together for the finished product. They're just not great. Didn't I get a noodle bowl there? My broth was like straight trash. Like yes. Worse than the, the noodle company for food and wine. Yes, and like we say, or I say anyway. If the broth is trash, the bowl is trash. Unfortunately, Captain Cook's has a consistent history of food that does not meet the mark. Even their impossible is trash. If you get hungry at Polynesian and you can't get a reservation, we would always suggest you just go get food from Tambu. Yeah, either Tambu or you can do mobile ordering from Kona. Yep. Um, but always check the walk-up list for Ohana and Kona because they usually have it. And then if you're in the mood for sushi, Kona has like a little to-go sushi section yep. over with their coffee stuff. So you and can even as much smoke as I've given their sushi, I would still prefer that from anything from Captain Cook's. Now, I know that Ohana and Kona seem like places that are always busy, but they actually do have gaps in their walk-up list they do. fairly often. So if you're even thinking about it, 
and you're just passing by, so you had other plans that fell through, just go ask. Actually, I'm pretty sure our last re reservation, our last video at Ohana it was a walk-up. Was a walk-up. It was a walk-up. Yep, yep. So, Captain Cook, you deserve your seven. And we love Polly, but not Captain Cook. Number six shouldn't really be a surprise to a lot of people because this restaurant, you don't see it talked about really ever. And we went a couple times and there's a reason that nobody talks about this place. It, it was, it's like one of the worst places ever. Actually, the last time that I went there, I ended up having to go to the dentist. Yeah. Because of how hard their bread was. This place is super easy to reservation to though. If you want to eat there, going there, it's not a problem because they always have reservations. Always. That place is... Terralina. Terralina. Crafted Italian. Yes. They have great drinks. Yes, like, they do. Their, their outside bar. bar fantastic. They're A little expensive, trash. the outside bar, but very good. Service, staff, feeling even is amazing. Food is terrible. There's and expensive. so many Italian places at Disney Springs. There's no reason to go there. Terralina is just not not it. It's not it. You know how you like you walk by Terralina? Because you probably, a lot of you probably don't even know what Terralina is. It's right between the big paddle boat that nobody goes to and Raglan. There's a little space in the corner. It just sits in the shade of a tree. There's a door there. You can actually like enter. You don't see people going in there it's for a reason. Okay. You can ignore and just go right to Aaron McKenna. Yeah, it's right walking. there. It's right there. I, I I throw smoke, but just go on the boathouse if you want. I don't even love the boathouse. The boathouses make this list. They have good drinks. Yes, they do have good drinks. But Terralina. Whew. Really bad. Whew. You got number six. That's where you reside. May you rest in peace, even though you're still here with us. Top five. This is where it's starting to get interesting Top now. Top five is actually going to upset some of you. And I'm not sorry. I have a sorry face. I'm making the sorry hand gesture. I don't think you're sorry. <laughs> but I, and I don't think people are going to be that offended. Every single one this. of these places, we could run hands all day. Because going to these places makes me actually upset. When the princess mentions that we need to go back to these places to do a review, I have nothing but horrible things to say. Especially number five. Number five. Number five, if you've been here with us for a long time, you guys can guess number five because there's not a single restaurant minus our number one that I have talked more trash about than number five. Maybe they wouldn't guess it because you've talked so much trash about it. And really, this oh, the Bears trash talking started in 2019. Yeah, I still have that When yeah. um, Galaxy's Edge opened, we yes, were there for 17 hours, we opening were. day. We were hungry. And we had multiple places on our list to eat that day. This one <sighs> happened to be on the list and basically ruined Bears' day. They did. And so I'm glad it was like towards the end of the day because he was really unhappy. They gave me rubber ribs. They were chewy. They were not flavored. They were just smothered in sauce. And I have never forgiven them for it. Even when they have had good things and they have had some okay things since then. 2020 breakfast before the closure was really good. And even though I rated that food because we were always willing to give restaurants a second, third, fourth, even fifth chance, I have never forgiven them for the rubber rib incident. And the place that I have never forgiven for what we will now call say the rubber rib incident, say it with me, ABC Commissary. Commissary. Ooh. At Hollywood Studios. I'm being nice right now because I'm still haunted by the, the strain of my jaw from having to chew how do you ruin ribs? How? Apparently, ABC Commissary wrote the book on how to ruin ribs. Blood pressure's getting up right now. <laughs> and for vegans, it's just been like the same California burger, and then like they add or subtract additional dishes, but the burger's always been there. Like a wheat bowl, and it's always tofu. Trash. Or, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just never great. The place has needed an identity makeover for a while. The inside is dated and boring. It's supposed to be like a Hollywood commissary. Maybe it's like a studio, yeah, like a and movie studio it, it commissary. It does look like that, but it, it's boring inside. It's dull, it's uninspired. It's stuffy. The fact that that building 
and this still grinds my gears to this day. It's nothing to do with the food. Shares a bathroom with sci-fi yeah. and baseline tap house is ridiculous. Those three restaurants combined are huge and they s serve the same bathrooms. It's absolutely mind blowing. They need to expand those bathrooms. They need to rethink ABC commentary. I have no idea to what. Maybe expand sci-fi? Maybe. Sci-fi is night and day compared. And, like, and highly desired, too. It is. But ABC commentary is just missing a mark. You ain't common my Siri. Any day of the week. <laughs> Commandeer nothing. But you're number five. You're in the middle of the pack. That's actually really surprising that we put it at number five. That just means that everything after this I had is points terrible. to rate this lower. But there's so many other things that are I would worse. rather not go. That right in the middle of the list. So you can be worse. Worse than the worst, but you're, you're number five. You are in number five. I'm going to give you number five for now until I go back. And then whew, we might have words. Enough, because I won't stop. About, all I do is hate on this place. Clearly, he's still not done. I'm not done. He's no, not. Now he needs to take, take a drink. Cutting it off. Take a cutting drink. Cutting it off. Relax. And let's talk about number four that actually set me off and made me do a formal complaint to the restaurant. But we're not going to go on, on to the formal complaint that I filed after the fact. We're just going to talk about this restaurant. So. I will say. Number four. So number four. That... It is probably, and I say this with the straightest face I possibly can, one of, if not one of the top five best themed restaurants on property. Best themed? Best themed Number, wait, restaurants wait. Right. on property. So Oga's, Trader Sam's, Rainforest Cafe. I would say this place is higher than Rainforest Cafe. As far as theming. But, I haven't finished the thought yet. While it is one of the best things themed wise on property, I, I think agree. the food is part of that theming because the food looks like prehistoric sludge. That would be T Rex. I don't think the theming at T Rex is. is... No? No. No? You have the random meteor it's showers, like random, and the dinosaurs, it's like dinosaur the lighting. Rainforest. It's very well themed. It's dinosaur rainforest. It's very rainforest. well themed. You feel like you're in a cave with dinosaurs, do you not? It depends on where you're seated. Last time we were there, we were sat in like inside the glacier that changed color. So yeah, yeah I would agree with that. And but like when we go to the bar or whatever, we're underneath like the giant squid. Like we, obviously, we have the, you have the I glowing don't feel bar. Like that. It's no, like, it, the, no. It's like it's like those roadside attractions you used to see on Long Drive with your parents. Which is terrible. Those are terrible and cheesy. It's and camp. Stupid. It's like campy and themed restaurant. I actually never did that with my parents, but I mean, neither did I. <laughs> I. I do know that I do know it from Goofy Movie. <laughs> but well themed because the food looks like prehistoric sludge. They have served me shrimp in like a puddle of what they called cheese that looked like it would attack me. Some of the food there is as ugly as it tastes. People love this restaurant. I know a lot of you love taking your kids there because lights, dinosaurs, the sounds are great. But if you're trying to tell me that you go to T-Rex because you actually enjoy the food. There's some, yeah, you don't go there for the food. I'm going to shake my head and smile, but I do not agree with you. It's like Bog. You don't go there for the food. I do not agree with you. This food is bad, objectively. It is one of the worst. At Disney Springs, not the worst at Disney Springs, but is one of the worst. We have more, more coming up. And I know that again, there are some purists amongst you. I know there are people in our community and the Disney community as a whole. They must be Landry's think, members. Yeah, probably are. <laughs> who think about T-Rex is one of those places that you must go every visit. It's a family tradition. You went there when you were children. Maybe you took your, your kids, kids there like when they were small. Your kids are probably 17, 18 years now. They go with you because you tell them they have to go with you. But I promise you, they don't most go. of them are not enjoying themselves. I know you go because it's tradition, but not every tradition is a good thing. Your money could be better spent at other places. There it's are better true. flavors at Disney Springs. You could go to BB Wolf and, and have a better food yes, experience. Can. Yes, you can. Haleo. Oh, Pepe's. Pepe's amazing. You know what? City Works and House of Blues never have a line. You want burgers? Go to one of those Basically places. Basically serve the same food, but much, much better. T-Rex, 
the dinosaurs were extinct for a reason, and I'm thinking that T Rex was probably extinct. responsible for the meteor that took them out. Oh. So, here we are, arrived after thousands of millennia at the top three. Ooh. These top three, as much as we've expanded and extolled our distaste for the ones that fall below them, the other seven, these three are the cream of the bird poop. Like, please do not go to these places. We beg you. If you go. We beg you. If you go to these places and you come back and you tell me that you had a bad time after we made this video, I'm going to tell you that you did it to yourself. Bear has no sympathy for people Zero. that Go watch our to... videos and then say that they watched our videos to his face and then don't take his advice. Uh, yeah, he definitely does. And told, I, I can told forgive so. all of you for the eight below this. These three specifically, you did it to yourself. Okay. You played yourself. You played yourself. Number three. The first time that we ever sent back a dish. We, if you guys don't know, we do a lot of food reviews on this channel. That's the main purpose of this channel. We do some fun vlogs and list videos and we go to events downtown and festivals and parks. We do food. We As never, is. never ever send back food. There are only really two reasons why we will ever send back food. It's inedible or it might actually kill one of us because she's vegan and she has never had a lot of these meats before. I've never had red meat before. And I'm allergic to mango. That is the only two reasons why we'll ever send food back. And yet, this is the only restaurant that we have ever returned food. And that was paddlefish. Yes. And only after we were badgered about it, about why we were eating it. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, because a few times where I've really hated my food, I just don't eat it, and, like, I expect to pay for it. I'm not trying to get free food or anything. Yes. In, in this case, at Paddlefish, I took my bite. He took his bite. Bet. I ate nothing else. Bet. After that, it was, like, salt lick. And the server knew. Server asked how it was, and I, for some reason, this is very out of character mm. for me, but for some reason I just Couldn't blurted out it it. that it was like salt lick and I hated it. And the server took it back and the manager came out, said they would take it off the check and if I wanted anything else. And I was like, no, no, no. no. Like I don't even like having it taken off the check. I tried the food, I'm gonna pay for it. Mm. That might not be your uh, way of doing the things, but that's just kind of how we do it here on this channel because we we don't Their like business. making waves. You and deserve to get paid. We want to do things as is. We don't want to try to modify or make or, or change the expectation yeah. out of something that you would get. We're not looking for special treatment. We're not looking right. for handouts. I hope this video finally convinces you that we are not paid by Disney or any of their affiliates. We're not paid by anybody. And we're probably <laughs> never getting invited to some of these third party restaurants for anything ever. But paddlefish food is bad. And like, yeah. it wasn't even the one time, every time we've gone to paddlefish. It's been terrible. It's been a salty, disgusting mess. Even Greasy, our first time. Gross. And then like you would think, like it's this big restaurant that looks like a, a steamboat. It's very pretty. It's got lights hanging from it. It's got a bar on the roof. You know, these fancy looking stairs. People love it during Dapper Day. It makes a good backdrop. But the food is <laughs> Last time we went on a dapper day, it was four of us, and all four of us hated our food. So it's, it's literally not just us. Like, the the couple of people that we've taken with us just did not like it either. We went before YouTube. We hated it then for yeah, the exact same reason. Yeah, it's true. Reasons. It's true. And it has never changed. That's why Nothing. it's on our three. It, every time the princess says we have to go back to this restaurant, I'm like, no. <laughs> I absolutely, 100% don't want to do it because I'm going to go... And I'm gonna I'm gonna hate on this restaurant, and then there's gonna be people that love this place or it's part of their like trip, and like I know we're gonna get hate for it because I do not like this place. Which they is, serve bad food. It's, it's expensive. Terrible it's very expensive. because like it's a seafood restaurant, and Bear is a bear who loves seafood because he's a bear. It's terrible. I like the view. The views are nice if you get like a water table. Yeah. But that's it. But most of the tables have good views. They're placed in a like way. I even like the drinks. Where you can see things. And, you know, we've even gone back looked at the history of this restaurant. This restaurant has been a few different things. None of them have done well. No. How Paddlefish is still open. 
surprises me. Now the staff that we've gone there, like again, we've said the staff is, staff the is staff great. Is, they're the very nice. They're very sweet. Management's great. Like we don't have a problem with the people. The issue is with <sighs> the, the food. food. Always with the all food. of this is about the food. It is never about the cast. I'm sorry, Paddlefish, but I'm not actually sorry. If it sank tomorrow with no people on it, I would not be sad. I might even cheer a little bit. I might put a meme or two on Instagram. Ouch. I'm just saying. You're number three for a reason. Let's move on now. Yes. Number two. Given that, I mean, some of the community has stuck with us for a while. Some of you that have been to every video, and I love you guys. Uh, you know that we don't like this place. Number two has made us sick. Yes. We did get sick the yes. last time we went there. Something that these top three have in common. We've gotten sick at each one of these. Yeah, we're, uh, we're definitely going to put the ones that made us get sick on... Um, multiple times. Not even once. That's the funny part. Like multiple times they made yeah, us Yeah, this one I think has got us sick twice. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah. a trip. It's an adventure. You might even say it's a journey through the wilderness. It's at Animal Kingdom. Pete Safari. Pete Safari is our number two worst restaurant and all of the Walt Disney Resort here in Orlando, Florida. It is objectively terrible. If you do anything in Animal Kingdom. Don't do that. Please don't go to Pizza Safari. Don't. Like, I beg you from the bottom of my heart, please don't go there. Yeah, you want pizza? There's Terra Treats. There's plenty of other food. Go to at, Satuli. At the go to barbecue. Flame Tree. There's Restaurantosaurus. Please there's go Tiffins. anywhere else. Harambe. Anywhere else. We yeah. know that nobody Harambe goes to Harambe. Harambe's only open great. four hours, but... If you go, that's a better four hours than the rest of if your you evening at the bathroom. No other options. Take a bus to Disney Springs. No. Do not eat. Go to the Pizza Lounge. Farage. Do not do it. You will regret it. I'm warning you now. This is the official Princess and the Bear warning. You will not like do your food at Pizza Farage. Do not Farage. go. You will not go. Please. Nobody, please. nobody is I telling me. You, please. That what the pizza far is good. You don't hear anybody saying this is the best food. You should come get here. I eat pizza far every time I come. No. If you see somebody else don't telling you the that. food at pizza far is good, they are lying to you, and you can tell them the bear said so. I can talk to me personally. It is bad. Number one. Number one, making this list. Mm -hmm. We already knew that number one was going to ruffle some feathers, Gr make some skin turn green. Make some people go deaf and stop listening to us. Might even make some of you unsubscribe. And the last time we did a review at this place was around Easter time. Yes. Was it? Yeah, Easter, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, like, recent. Mm. We've and done three reviews, four reviews this place? Three or four, and I think um, two out of the four times we got sick. Yep. Maybe... Three? Remember the, remember the Cuban the Cuban sandwich? Our, Cuban sandwich. Do you, oh my gosh. Oh. Do you remember that chicken salad you got uh. where like the chicken was white? Mm-hmm. Like just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, remember the, the burger of yours thing where I made the pukey face? Oh my God. I was like, I had eight stages of grief in a sandwich. And some of you love the atmosphere of this place. Like you swear by it. And I, I do really believe that a lot of you do go here because you love the atmosphere. Or at least one part of the atmosphere because the rest of it is like boring, blues and grays. It's really not that special a place. And I honestly don't, do not think it justifies the large area that it has and then occupies because it's awful. That place is... Cosmic Rays Starlight, Starlight Cafe. Cafe. I want to launch it to the moon. Sunny... Puts on a decent show. He's like a step above a dime store animatronic from. Or you were gonna say R3X from Ogas? Oh, R3X, way above Sunny. Any day of the week. R3X, as goofy and clumsy as he is, it's a saint. Sunny is a silent. Silent? He sings. Accomplice. Silent accomplice, because he sings, but he ain't telling people how bad the food is. He's singing about love and lore and going out of space. That's but true. he's not singing how terrible the food is in this restaurant. To me, that makes him a silent accomplice, because I blame him about 50% for 
for the reason this food is so bad. People keep coming to this restaurant because they want to see Sunny, not because they want the food. If yeah. he wasn't there, like they would have changed the menu in this place already because it is bad food. I think if he wasn't there, the restaurant wouldn't exist. When he disappears, how angry do people get? Very. When he's gone for maintenance, people get up. Wasn't he supposed to, like gone for maintenance for like a couple of months? And, he like, was gone and people had an absolute meltdown. Yeah. But the food is bad. Why are they not melting down over that? Yeah, we got the patty melt when we went around Ugh. Easter, and it it we had to after we did we. We went for Easter yeah. and we f we were gonna film a vlog mm -hmm. and we had all this stuff planned out. But then like we did Tomorrowland and then we were gonna like walk through Tomorrowland to like go through the rest of the lands and we decided to do like a side food review at Cosmic Rays. Yeah. So we did that and then we both got sick. And so we had to cut our Easter oh, video, video short. We had to go home because- if you guys ever wondered why. We were so sick. Yeah. Some of these videos get cut short is because we eat bad food. And honestly, we have to go home. We try, we don't want to mention that because we don't want to hurt our other video because we had bad food in another video we did that same day. But a lot of the reason these videos get cut short is because we get sick eating this stuff sometimes yeah. when this food is that terrible. It's funny because Starlight Rays is one of the hardest places and longest wait for mobile order in Magic Kingdom. But I'm sure it's out of pure desperation. I can only assume it's a desperation. Either that or like, because like, if you talk about Disney World, I feel like most people assume that they're going to go to Magic Kingdom. So yeah. like every single place at Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom is, is going to be busy. Mm -hmm. But I know that a lot of you, including very good friends of ours, have a emotional connection to this restaurant. And I want to hear just for the animatronic from all of you in the comments below in some sort of vain last ditch effort to convince me why you go to this place. Because honestly, I need to understand why you keep subjecting yourself to food that is awful. There's a lot of food in Walt Disney World. There's a ton of food in Walt Disney World. Walt Disney World has more restaurants in its little circle than all of I drive in Orlando. Over 200, I think. And yet people still eat at Casa Grace, Starlight Cafe. I do not understand. I need to understand why you guys use yourself. Tell me please in the comments below because it is our number one pick for the 10 worst restaurants in Walt Disney World. Now I wanna know your ranking for your 10 worst in the comments below because there's probably some places that you guys know that's gonna hurt my feelings. What's your number one? We wanna know. Number one, even if you can't do a top 10, do it a top three. Number ones are hard to do because you gotta pick one that's gonna be the worst. Yeah, three is fair, top, top three. But let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see us rank Maybe it's the best. Maybe it's the worst at a particular park. Let us know it's particular in the comments food below. Item. That is always the place to find us. Hit the notification bell to see other videos like this and... We have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear might yeet himself through a window and severely injure himself because he's sick of bad Disney food. You know what? Me to hurt myself because they hurt me. Don't do that to yourselves. But you hurt the girl. <laughs>